my name is Kenya. I'm a 36 years old self-employed architect. On Sunday afternoon, I was sitting on a bench in the park near my house, reading a manga magazine that I bought. It's a beautiful day, so peaceful. Then, an elementary school-aged girl approached me. Hey old guy, let's play! What? With me? Where are your mom and dad? I'm all alone, let's play! Well, as long as it's only for a little while. Yeah! What do you want to play? The girl had a brilliant smile. We played ball together. The girl took a liking to me and I ended up spending almost two hours with her. It's getting late. Shouldn't you go home soon? I have something to do, so I'm going to leave now. I'm gonna have some more fun and then go home. You should head home before it gets dark. Bye-bye. I will. Bye! The girl waved at me as I left. She seemed lonely. I was kind of curious about her. The next day, on my way home from the convenience store, I passed by the same park that I had sat in the day before. Huh? That's the girl from yesterday. As I passed the park, I looked at the girl and our eyes met. <laughs> old man! Ah, we meet again. Hey old man, what are we going to play today? Oh no. Oh, I still have some work to do. I can't play today. Huh, I see. Oh, well, all right. But just for a little while, okay? She looked up at me with a very sad face. I had no choice but to play with her again. What's your name? Mio. What grade are you in? Fifth grade. What? Fifth grade? Was I this small in the fifth grade? Where do you live, old man? In that apartment. Hmm. I played jump rope with her for 15 minutes and left. The next day, as I walked down the stairs to my apartment... What? What's wrong? Old man, what do you want to play today? Just then, another resident in my apartment building came home. He looked at me and the little girl curiously. I know we look like father and daughter, but... Hey, what's up? The apartment building I lived in was for single people only, so if this girl were to become attached to me, I knew it was only a matter of time before the residents would think I was suspicious. Where do you live? Why? You do go back home every day, don't you? Yeah, of course I go home. I have something I need to go and do. You should go home before it gets dark. Your parents will be worried. Hmm. She is so skinny. She looks dirty, too. I wonder if she's eating enough. I felt like I should take her home, but I didn't want anyone to get suspicious about me. Plus, I didn't know if her parents were even home. I figured that she had left just after I did the day before at the park. After returning home, I did some research on the internet. I began to wonder if Mio was a neglected child. I wonder if the neighbors are aware of her. She always seems to want attention, doesn't she? I took a chance and contacted the Child Guidance Center. There's this skinny, dirty girl who's always hanging around my neighborhood. She said her name is Mio. Okay, I'll try to visit her soon. I really hope they do come soon. Even after I contacted the Child Guidance Center, I often saw Mio sitting on the stairs in my apartment building. I couldn't get away from her. Are you hungry? Do you want to have a meal with me at a diner? Yes! Mio didn't want to talk about herself even though I asked her about her life. I was compelled to stay by her side. One day, Mio stopped appearing around the neighborhood. I was so worried that I called the Child Guidance Center again, but they wouldn't give me much information. She's okay, isn't she? She's fine, right? I imagined Mio's smiling face as she played happily and ate delicious looking meals. But all I could do was talk to her in my head. How is she? Is she eating enough? Six years later, I'm still living in the same apartment and living the same everyday life. Huh? Who is that? I caught this high school girl staring at me a few times that day in the supermarket. This time she kept looking at me and didn't divert her gaze when I looked at her. It made me feel strange. The next Saturday, I walked out of my apartment and found a woman sitting on the stairs in my apartment building. 
Mio? She looked exactly like that girl Mio used to look when she was 11 years old. And then... I finally found you. I never forgot about you. Mio? Is that you, Mio? There was grown-up Mio. She still somewhat looked like the Mio I remembered from six years before. It turned out that she was the high school-aged girl who had been staring at me in the supermarket the day before. She was now a sophomore in high school and lived in the city. We had a nice conversation over a cup of tea. What has your life been like since I last saw you? At that time, my parents had separated and I was living with my father. My father left one day and never came home, so I was in an orphanage for a while, and now I live with my dad. He has turned his life around now. I've even made friends at school. I was relieved that she seemed to be living a happy life now. Hey, aren't you going to ask me if I have a boyfriend now? So you have a boyfriend? <laughs> no, I don't. Didn't I just tell you that I never forgot about you? I like you. I've always liked you. What? Thanks, but I'm 25 years older than you. But I love you! You were the only person who cared about me back then! You should get a boyfriend your own age. I'm an old man, so I'm not suitable for you. No! I want you! I might get arrested, but <laughs> I'll just acknowledge your feelings. She had always been pushy, but that day we managed to keep things vague and parted ways. After that, she kept coming down to my apartment to ask me to go out with her. I refused her every time. So, it will be okay when I become a university student, right? When I turn 20, it'll be fine, right? Um, that's not what I meant. Hey, what's your name? My name is Kenya. I'll call you Kenya from now on. I'm going to study hard so that I can go to university. Then you'll go out with me, right? Well... I was at a loss for words. When Mio became a university student, she started coming to my house more than ever. Then, I moved house without telling her. The reason why I rejected Mio wasn't only because of our age difference. I used to have a fiancé, but she was killed by a drunk driver. I thought I would be with her forever. I've spent every day since then in pain. I felt empty because she wasn't with me anymore. But I didn't have the courage to end my life and join her. I avoided getting involved with other people and was spending my days alone in emptiness. That's when I met Mio. Let's play, old man! What? With me? I've never been one to get involved with other people anyway. But I was worried about Mio, so I didn't want to leave her alone. I thought it might be because there was still a part of me that wanted to be saved by the warmth of another person. But... I will die before her. I can't let her go through what I went through. I had been harboring these thoughts for a long time. One day, the doorbell began ringing incessantly. W what? Mio! Thank God! Thank God! You're alive! How did you find my new place? I moved, but I had to stay in the same city because of my job and my parents. I think she saw me on the street and followed me home. I thought it was naive of me to think she wouldn't find me. After that, Mio went back to coming over to my house often. Kenya, let's have dinner together. Um... She spent her time working hard in my house, cooking and doing her university assignments. It was as if she was my intrusive wife. Your food is delicious, but you should feed it to younger men. But I want you to eat it, Kenya. I want you to eat... me as well. No, don't tease an adult. Mio, now in university, was annoying me. I'm a man and I didn't feel bad about it, but I didn't want to end up in a superficial relationship. I kept my composure. I'm older than your father. If you get together with a guy my age, he will probably die before you, or at least get very old, and then you will have to take care of him. There must be a younger man who can make you happier. It became a mental battle to see who would break first. A week later, 
I went to sleep with a high fever, and Mio came over three days later. Uh, Kenya? Are you okay? No, I feel very sick. Don't come near me or you will catch it. I don't care. She didn't even go home. She stayed over and took good care of me. After a week in bed, thank you. Please give me a reward when you are completely recovered. Promise me that you will. <sighs> okay. I admitted defeat. I was too sick in mind and body to battle with her. After I recovered, she came to stay with me and brought me food. I want to have a baby with you, Kenya. I want to raise our baby in a warm home. My own mini Kenya. That means I can't die for a long time, doesn't it? It's been two years since then. When we started dating, I was 46 and Mio was 21. She was lonely when we first met and I guess she saw me as a positive figure in her life at the time. We got married after Mio graduated from university. Mio's father and I are close in age and he's become my father-in-law and drinking buddy. We have promised each other that we will try our best to keep each other healthy from now on.